Alrighty guys, back to the modding station. So we're going to take the Hubson X4 H107D Plus out tomorrow and uh, try to fly it with the new VRD2 goggles. And I noticed that during my testing that the AA batteries just get chewed up real fast and we already knew that. But like in 10 minutes it drained half the batteries. So I am doing the lipo modification on this. Um, as you can see I've already gotten into this. This is a female JST connection. Um, I have not finished taping up things, but I did rip the entire battery tray out. Simple to do guys. Pair of pliers just reach in there and start bending plastic until it pulls right on out of there easily. Um, takes about 10 minutes to get the battery tray out with a little bit of force. Um, once I opened it up I noticed that they did have the uh, antenna weld uh, soldered on here so I'm not going to mess with this yet. Uh, we'll see what kind of range it gets, but uh, this does have the 501S uh, pigtail FPV antenna on there. It uh, looks identical, uh, and it does have the IPEX connection, so we're going to go ahead and probably, um, not tonight, but uh, we will go ahead and put the 14 dBi high gain antenna panel on there and see if that makes a difference. I'm not going to do it right now, but uh, I do have that ready, and... Um, I'm getting ready to put the male JST connection on the LiPo battery that I have here. As you can see, SEMA X8W battery for the SEMA quadcopter um, fits in there nice and perfect. And uh, I've got the wires ready to uh, tape up and get going here. But uh, that fits in there, it slides right in when the battery case is on there, just like that. And I am going to cut a little hole here so that. Uh, I can just plug in the charge port whenever I want to without having to take the battery out or remove it at all. So we'll make this real easy setup. But right now I just want to show you how easy this is to do. Uh, it's just the four screws. You can see the holes, four screws. It just pulls off and then you can start pulling and prying on things. I have tons of JST connections because I do a lot of projects, as you guys know. Um, but we're going to go ahead and finish this up. We're going to go ahead and finish this up on camera here so you guys can see what I'm doing. and. Uh, We'll try to make this as simple as possible. I wanted to take this out tomorrow to do a flight and test out the goggles and see how everything works. But it was draining through the double A's so quick I just figured it would be easier just to go ahead and do the uh, battery modification tonight so I don't have to stress anything tomorrow when I get started. So let's go ahead and tape up these wires, give them a good coating here, and one more wrap on the far end, pinch it, move it over just a tad, beautiful. We will go ahead and pull this apart, if I can here, oops, gentle Dan, gentle, oh my gosh, trying to break things, okay, make sure there's no extra wire sticking out there, excellent, give that all a good pinch. Take that other piece that I tried to rip off the transmitter here. Probably easier to use scissors, guys. I just don't have any readily available. So we're going to go ahead and just finish this up how I'm doing it. Make sure I've got a good, nice, tight coating over all of it here. Excellent. Both of those are taped up. I'm going to put another little piece on the end here just to make sure, just to make sure, man, I want to be on the safe side. So, if I can get this out of here, beautiful. One more little piece, we'll start with the frayed end on here. And wrap that up real good. There we go. You really don't want these to touch because they're going to be running 7.4 volts. And if you guys know anything, the board can handle 4 through 13 volts. If you have any questions about that, I will go ahead and show you that right now. If you guys can see this on camera right there, 4 to 13 volts. So, JST connection is now in there. We're going to go ahead and push all that extra wiring back up underneath here and just leave out enough that we can use if I can get this down in there come on now there we go push all that extra wiring back underneath the board so that all we have is that sticking out excellent 
So pretty easy, as you guys can see, very easy to do. And uh, for now, that's it. I used the original wires that came on the uh, battery connection for the tray, installed the female JST connection, ripped out the old battery case, and now we're going to go ahead and put this back on there and we'll do the antenna modification another time. I just wanted to get that all set up so it was nice and easy to do. And let's go ahead and get this back on there if we can. Beautiful. So there you go. Easy. We'll go ahead and put these screws back in. Go ahead and put these screws back in here. Okay, let's go ahead and knock this out here. See which ones it is here. Got plastic all up in here. Come on, get off of there. Really? <laughs> all right. There's one. Oops, almost did the same wire again. Come on, you. There we go. Okay. And let's go ahead and do a good tightening job here if I can. Make sure that's got a nice, tight, tight fit around it. All right. Good enough for me right now. Like I said, guys, if you have scissors, go ahead and use them. Make sure this has a good tape job. We don't want these to touch at all. At all, at all. All right, one done. Move on to number two here. If you guys want, you can just purchase a battery that already has a JST connection on it. Uh, I just have a ton of lipo batteries laying around so I figure for projects like these I can use batteries that I don't have uh, uh, <laughs> the parts for anymore or the vehicles that go to it so we just use the old batteries for that purpose so once again guys this is a 2000 milliamp 25C, I want to say, 2000 milliamp, 25C battery for a SEMA X8W. I had a couple of these laying around, and we are good. There you go. Let's plug that in with the transmitter, and see what kind of magic we get. Plugged in. There you go. Pretty easy. Very easy job. And then like I said, I'll cut a little hole back here so that we can stick this out. But for right now, let's go ahead and tuck this in this way. There we go. We can get all that extra wiring in there. There we go. So for right now, it'll serve its purpose. I don't know what I did with the back. I think the back's in the other room. But uh, that's how we're going to do that. And then we're just going to drill a little hole at the bottom of the transmitter to stick the charger out of. And uh, then I don't have to mess with this again. I can just push the back on and that's the end of it. So, Alright, so there you go guys. That's what I was talking about. 
just uh, punch a little hole in the bottom for the charge port and uh, ready to go so now it's on the wall they're charging so every time I come in I can just plug it in charge up the transmitter and uh, done easy peasy lemon squeezy all right guys drone worship I'm out toodaroo